Hello, good evening. Hope everyone's doing okay. Monday night. Ta da Now, this Bitcoin, I will admit that when we made this high here, and when we made this kind of little um, double top here on the hourly, by this I mean this double top here. So we had a leg lower, a bounce, and then a little double top here. And when I saw this double top here, I felt like, well, that's it. We're not going to go much higher. We're probably setting up a leg lower. And I sold half of my Bitcoin, um, which I'd ridden all the way up here. So I was waiting because I was expecting another leg lower from here. So if we make a big ABC and we measure it like this, it would mean from here a drop down to probably 7,800 or 7,500. This is um, Bitstamp prices. Your mileage will vary slightly. So if we looked at Tether, prices here for example at Binance uh, there's always a slight difference in the tether price so we're looking for a little ABC correction here and a drop in this one it's 7796 or 7491 so actually not that much difference in these prices uh, this time and that 7491 should really line up with a 50% retrace of the entire rally. It's pretty close, isn't it? It's not quite. 7438 is the 50%. Now, the problem with that is when we zoom out and we look at this big kind of daily declining wedge that we're in, if we drop down 50% of this rally, that really is a staying within the wedge unlikely. You know, it really makes it quite risky that we do that whole other leg lower. And if we do, if we measure from this low to high, if we do that whole another leg lower in this channel, we are likely to break this 61.8 and then do a full uh, Gartley pattern down to that 5470. In other words, we, we haven't taken the risk away that we've still got one more leg lower down to 5,470. There's a couple of, uh, dis dis you could argue how we draw this trend line. We could say that this is an A leg and a B leg and this C leg is a declining wedge. And if that's the case, then this is the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, fifth leg. Good thing about that is this leg here in the middle can't be the shortest. So we know where we can't go beyond on this next leg lower. But, you know, we could also say this is the A leg, this is the B leg, and we go from here. In which case, we've got one, two, three, four, five waves down in this declining wedge. In fact, we should make it even a little bit tighter. You know, we could almost argue that we maybe have broken out. And this little consolidation in this case is a retest. So we've got touch one, touch two, third touch, false break. And I break out and looking for a little shallow retest here, which, you know, wouldn't look that weird with the price action we're seeing. So that's one way to look at it. Another way I'm looking at this, let's take these fibs away and we'll widen out our channel or trend line wedge again here, just in case we'll have the most conservative view of it. Let's take this last swing lower that we're inside of. Hi to low okay because this is a reversal at the 50 percent you would normally expect markets that do that mean reversion and mean reversion just means 50 percent back usually keep mean reverting so it would make sense then having done a rally to a 50 percent that we then pull back to 50 percent when we look at this 50 percent level it's also massive, you know, support and resistance. If we just extend our line here left and look left, these lows, sorry, highs, highs, you know, lows here, highs here, lows here. This is a huge pivot level, really, 7,400, 7,500. And that kind of makes sense, you know. So it's like, you know, one of those quarterly things, isn't it? 5,000, 7,500, 10,000. So big level. So I would not be surprised if this consolidation breaks down, but it's staying really strong. It doesn't want to break down. Each little dip gets bought. So I think it's one of those occasions where we really need to look now at the altcoins and see if they're giving us any clue. Because at the moment, we're really going nowhere with this. We're just going sideways. 
one, two, three. This is the sixth day of kind of sideways inside trading, isn't it? So let's take a look at one of the leading ones that I think is a good indicator is Litecoin. OK, so if we take a look at Litecoin. I'm going to look at Litecoin against Bitcoin and then we'll look at Litecoin against the US dollar. We've got a really bullish setup here. We're trading above our daily moving averages. We are, you know, watching these for a bullish cross and some sort of sight. We've broken out of a double dot, double bottom, <coughs> double top kind of pattern here. So we're looking for a pullback to hold and a continuation higher. We've got a really nice tight little channel going on here, bullish flag. Here's our pole and here's our bullish flag. If we look inside and we're looking for a kind of ABC equal measured move here, if we measure like this, we've kind of got it. The problem is that you'll usually, well, quite often the last leg needs to be five waves, which we haven't quite got. So I would expect then a retest of these lows, a marginal new low, something like that, or maybe just a push down to this 0 0.005992 and then Litecoin to rally away, but we could quite easily, we've done enough, rally from here. So what's gonna be our trigger? I really think a breakout of this flag will be a trigger. So a good place to have, this is an hourly chart, good place to have an alert would be on the breakout of the upside of that little trend line there. We've already had the third touch false breakout here on this one. So that's how Litecoin looks on the hourly against Bitcoin. Let's take a look at it against the US dollar or US dollar tether. We'll look at US dollar Coinbase. Now, this is the support and resistance level in, in Litecoin. If we draw our fibs from the December low to the June highs, we bounce from the 886 fib and your confirmation that you've reversed the trend is when you trade above the fib level that you broke. So this support and resistance level at 48.72, we're above it. We're looking to hold above it buy a retest of it and look to rally higher. So we're looking for the same thing and kind of ABC correction pullback to this level, which looks like we've got, in fact, we've got a very nice wedge consolidation going on here. Put my Ganache on. So again, we're looking for this to break to the upside. Might it, it might just go from here or very often you know, these wedge shapes are five waves. So that means A, B, C, D, E, and then go. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this is what we see here in Litecoin as well, just because that's very often what you get when you look under the hood in the shape of pattern. Um, so your confirmation really will be breaking that trend line, won't we? Remember, third touches, very often false breaks. But so Litecoin is all set, yeah, to go higher from here. Another one that we've been watching closely is um, Bitcoin Cash, SV. So we're gonna look at BSV and we're gonna look at against against the dollar and against Bitcoin because we're in a huge reversal of fortune here uh, against the US dollar, aren't we? We've gone from a 786 fib. When you reverse it a 786 fib, your target is the 38.2 and we've done it here in a perfect two ways. What we want to make sure we haven't done here is an ABC correction. I don't think we have. I think we've got more to go, but let's see. Because if we have, we kind of extended beyond it. So I think that that's not what we're looking at. And this also looks kind of really strong. The other thing that's making me think, I'm going to hide these fibs for a minute. One of the things that makes me go think we're going higher is a harmonic pattern rule. So if I draw my fibs from these lows to the highs, if your first leg goes less than the 61.8, so in other words, 50 or 38.2, then from this correction, you're always looking for at least 1.618, if not 2.618. So that harmonic pattern rule makes me think that this should be bullish consolidation in BSV and against dollar and then we continue higher. So when we look under the hood at this, here it looks like, well, it's, you know, until we break out, when you've got flat moving averages, it's always a sideways range. And so until we break out of this sideways range, we've got obviously no guarantee we're going higher. Until then, you just have to 
you know, play the bottom, the bottoms, play the outside of the ranges. So if we do break higher here, first pullback, that's a really nice buy. And then that first 1.618 level comes in at 203 in BSV US dollar. If we don't, and this is an A, B, and we're looking for a C leg, then we just wait for this next dip. And then that's us in BSV US dollar. I don't know which way, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is if this is a bigger correction before we go higher. So 